I guess today I'm gonna show you my JGM4. Um, I made some a little bit of modification to it. Not much, not much, just a bit. Um, when I added a an aftermarket razor rail, it's all aluminum and whatnot. It came with the foregrip, and the laser was separate, and the flashlight was separate. Um, and the aftermarket, and the, uh, the red dot, the uh, aim point, the uh, reflex set on the top, took that off my G36. I run my G36 uh, um, bare now, I don't run any attachments on it. Not even the PEQ box that mm, some of you may, me, may have seen on my G36, the CIA. That I used to rock because I was too lazy to take the handguard off. Um, um, I do plan on running a PEQ box because mine is broken at the moment. I plan to get another one and uh, running it right here. The only problem is um, the wiring is exposed. Now, some of you may know. Um, like the thing is, I have my PEQ box sitting right, right on top, and then like that, like so. And then the battery is going to run down and connect. And the only bad thing is, wiring is kind of exposed. The only thing I can really think of is uh, turn the PEQ box the opposite direction so it's facing backwards, and so that the wires come out this way and hook around so that they're not necessarily at the front of the gun. Um, but other than that, I really don't know how to tuck those wires away, and I don't want to rewire it to the back, because when it's a lot of work, that is a lot of fucking work, that either I would have to pay for, or take my own, get my own lazy ass up and, you know, do it my damn self, but I am kind of lazy. <laughs> I can't even say kind of lazy. I am lazy. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Nate's um Nate's excuse. I'm fat and I'm lazy. I cannot tell you how many times he says that in a day. And how many times he probably says that? Probably when I'm not paying attention. But yeah, I do plan to put a magpul um and a black magpul stock here. I don't wanna go tan because like I really don't wanna I don't know, I just don't wanna go tan. I was thinking about getting mad pull furniture for it, but then I was just like, nah, for some reason, I just, I just thought getting a, getting a, um, get a rail handguard would just be better. I do plan on getting some, um, rail covers right here for this one. Maybe like the, the ladder type or like, I don't know, like, Damn, I forgot how what the ones that are called, but the um basically the rail covers that like go in between each segment of rail and cover that up nice and tight because everything else will be covered with something. And then I may put like little sections right here to kind of cover that up. And then little sections under the flashlight and whatnot, and maybe in here next to the uh basically anywhere where there's not any rail being used. Cause this is some really sharp rails, I mean whew. And it took me, um, because the rail didn't exactly fit, and as you can see, there's, um, these screws right here. Those aren't the screws that came with it. This rail does not fit in this gun at all. I had to do a little bit of modifying and pushing and shoving, and so much frustration went into putting this rail on. It was just like, oh my god. If I don't get this rail on, I'm gonna kill somebody. I spent like, I'm not, I spent like a legit good hour just trying to get this rail on, and I, I got so frustrated. Until I figured it out. What I had to do to make it fit was I had to push the delta ring, like the, um, for one half of the hour, I was actually trying to put it on backwards because when I tried to put it on the right way, it wouldn't fit. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Maybe if I turn it backwards. And I spent like two hours just trying to put it on the normal way. And at first, because of the little ring around here inside the delta ring, it kept fitting sideways. Like, 
like my handguard like slanted and it would it just wouldn't fit right so I like put a spacer in between the barrel and the rail taped it around and it held up the um and it held and it holds the rails right up and then the original screws that came oh by the way um <laughs> The first literal half hour was spent looking for a damn Allen key because it did not come with an Allen key to set this shit up. <laughs> came with everything else. Came with the foregrip, came with the screws. For some reason, two of the screws on each side, like, if you turn the gun this way, this screw and this screw was loose like to loose to where the point like they were up here and I could just take my hand and just do 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 but then the other two were tight so I spent half an hour trying to find a Allen key small enough which I had but don't know where I put it cause I it came with um it came with this came with the red dot set to adjust this the ironic thing is I have one now cause I just bought a skateboard and I need it, it came with an Allen key and a little small wrench. Karma. Um so half the hour, half an hour was spent doing that. The other half hour was spent trying to just put this thing on and the frustration that mounted that in all in all, it was worth it. I mean Damn, oh look at that. That just looks badass. And the suppressor. Damn, I don't know. I think I might get a smaller one. Because the it makes it look cool. But the only thing is, it's really front heavy. And it's not the rail that makes this thing front heavy. Because I've taken the rail off of it. And with the rail on it, it actually balances. The weight balances out very, very good. But I think when I actually go play Airsoft, I think I might have to take that suppressor off because my shoulder, my left shoulder is kind of bad due to a wrestling injury and uh, holding that thing up is, uh, pulling it up to shoot is like, uh, it's damn near a chore sometimes, you know, just practicing in the backyard with it. It's kind of, it, it was kind of a chore, just not, I mean, it, I got used to it really. And I'm, I think, I don't know, I think I may run it for a while. I just know that my G36C, made by JG, or the JG MK30, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the thing was like a pile of bricks to me at first when I first got it for Christmas and when I first tried to pull it out of the box. That thing was heavy as fuck. Now that thing is like a feather. If I wanted to wield that thing one handed, I could. I think I just got to get the used to carrying this and maybe carry it a bit more. Then it'll, it'll start to, it'll, you know, once I, I guess once I break it in, really, to, um, it'll, it'll start to just feel, like, I'll just be able to just, you know, whip it around, because that G36C, man, I think it's about light as fuck to me now. But yeah, guys, that was an update on my G36, um... I know I haven't done an airsoft video in a while. It's my my camera's broken. I don't have a camera for airsofting videos, and I was supposed to get one, but uh, shit happened. <laughs> I was supposed to got I was supposed to have gotten one like a, a couple weeks ago, months ago actually. Never ended up happening. You know, I was supposed to get a replacement suppressor for my friend because he gave me this one. That I got cheated on that. <laughs> Like, it was an ad um, on this one website that trades parts and airsoft parts and whatnot. These guys basically took my $30 and told me to go fuck myself, long story short. So, yeah, now I gotta, I either, I'm either gonna pay my friend back or just, I'm gonna go to Amazon or something and try to find the suppressor he wanted. So, yeah. That's been my M4. See ya.